on the most serious of matters. It's been a hard day in the farm. I just got back. I've been working very hard. Over the past few months, me and my wife, it's been a whirlwind of events. We released Abigail. We couldn't have her. My wife couldn't have her. I couldn't have her. I don't need her around. It's horrible. Um, I know, I know she wants me, but what we did was unacceptable. It was horrible. I could never do it again. Me and my wife, now we have major problems in our relationship. We fight all the time. I just, I, I don't know what to do. They're so, she's so cryptical and it's so difficult. We'll see what happens. I'm about to go to bed right now, and I just want to talk to you guys about the uh, past week. It's been a crazy week. Um, Abigail once again cornered me on the path right outside the ho house. She kissed me. <sighs> it's unfathomable. I, I, I pushed her away. I can't. It's not. It's not okay. Um, I. My wife, she she knows that Abigail wants her dead, and Abigail has tried to kill her now because of the voodoo doll that was planted in our house. And Abigail went into the courthouse with a pin in her side, and my wife is so mad right now, and she has absolutely no idea what to do. I don't know what to do, and I'm digging myself into my own rut, and I'm lost. Um, I, I've broke not I haven't even broken my moral cond. I broke yes i broke a sin but i haven't i haven't that's not even what hurts me the most what hurts me the most is that i've broken my own code code of moral conduct i've ruined everything that i feel for everything that i've done in the past my cheating with abigail it's wretched i'll never be able to forgive myself for anything that i've done i get back from a hard day in the field and I just, I, I think about my wife and how much I love her. And I just, everything that I've done, I'll never be able to say. I can't tell the community because I'll, I'll be excommunicated. Everything that I've done is horrible. I will be kicked out of the church and I cannot be kicked out of the church. I do not have that. I just We're can't. talking about what has happened in the past couple of weeks. She provides me justice for what I've done, but I can never forgive myself for any of my actions. I can't forgive myself for cheating on that har cheating with that harlot, Abigail. I'll never be able to understand why I did it, what I was thinking. It's such a horrible, grave mistake. Something horrible is going to happen in the town, and I know it. I can feel it. Something horrible has been happening the past couple of weeks, and now something bad is going to happen to us. I'll never be able to tell what's going to happen. Oh, my, ki my kids are coming. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's freezing down in this cellar down here. I'm locked up, I'm chained. Everybody in this town is a fraud. They all know that this whole ordeal is a fraud. It's a fake. Abigail is a fake. Word is that she left town. I've, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be sitting down here in the freezing cold about to die tomorrow with my wife, she, who's also probably about to die. I haven't seen her since last night when we talked. She forgave me, but I, I I can't accept it. I could never forgive myself. I deserve to die.